Hey, what's going on guys? Kumikikinzi here. I don't know how about you, but one day I saw videos like I draw like a printer where a guy using a, sin a single pencil draws like line by line like this and eventually uh, a photorealistic image appears. Well, I'm not a painter, uh, I'm, not, I'm not an art artist and I, I don't know how to draw. However, uh, I, was, I was thinking, what if I can automate this process using Python? So in this video, I want to be drawing like a printer uh, using PyAuto GUI uh, library to help me. And let me just show you my setup. So I have a very simple uh, kind of like image editor. So it's like a paint on Windows. Uh, it's very, uh, I'm sorry, it's very simple. So I can just draw something here. So the idea is to automate the movements of, of my mouse and the process of clicking, right? So eventually uh, the script that I've written would draw my auto portrait. So if you're interested, without further ado, let's actually start. So I just need to create a new document here. Okay, just want make it a little bit bigger. And here I just want, I'm sorry guys, uh, I just want to run my test script so it's very bare bones at the moment but it should be working so just wait for five minutes and then it starts drawing code marking in so uh the idea is very simple here are my hands i'm not touching the mouse i'm not moving the, uh, i'm not moving the mouse i'm not clicking the button however uh on an operating system level the mouse movements are being mimicked i would say and also the mouse clicks so eventually it kind of draws uh, it kind of draws this this portrait so it's not seen that nicely at the moment but i try to mimic some of the similar behavior to what i've seen in that video uh it's a very early stage of the de of development at the moment it just kind of grace uh, it doesn't even have a gray scale it's just a bare black and white stuff however I personally think it's really interesting so here is the deal so how the script works so in that uh, i'm sorry I, I can't point out this with my mouth so you can just uh, have a look at this this part of the screen so there is the source code the, the the essential the most essential part so what i'm doing there uh so, well it, it was just a few words on what's not seen within the source code so i just open an image then i convert this uh, i convert an image to grayscale then to black to then to black and white and then i can uh, when i have the image in uh kind of only black and white i do convert that into the array of integers where i have uh 255 for uh the integer value for white i guess right and zero for black and then I do traverse, so the code you can see here on the screen. So what I do there, I traverse the rows. So every row, and so it's kind of two-dimensional array, two-dimensional list in Python. So the rows are literally the rows of pixels and the columns are like the pixels on, them, on their own. So I take the first row and then I do randomly uh, click uh, within this row where I need to click like with this where, where the pixel occurs and an interesting thing here that the image uh, appears to be a bit better compared to the original because I'm not using a single pixel but instead I'm using uh, a paint uh, I'm using a brush here uh, so I believe that if one can experiment with editors uh, the effects might be really awesome so this is just a bare, uh, the bare minimum proof of concept and I'm gonna be working this out so we'll see what it, what, what it uh, what we can come up with eventually but anyway the idea of this kind of drawing style exactly mimics what i've seen in that kind of extremely popular video when i saw that for the first time was very i was really impressed uh, i have no idea still whether that's kind of for real or maybe just uh some trick some <laughs> i don't know just just a fake or something uh but it looks very real uh, i have no idea how it works uh, uh, so if, if anyone is aware of that please let me know in the commentaries I'm, I'm really tempted to know but here is the idea that without ever touching a mouse uh right over in here you can see kobe King on his own smiling okay so uh i guess well obviously we have the photorealistic similarity because that's the photo i've taken uh, I, I i've just taken a snapshot from my from my web camera 
and yeah that's how it works and when, when it stops when it stops when the script stops working uh, I'll show you the image I'm using as a source it's not that uh, it, it's worse compared to the output that we actually have and that's that's really interesting thing to consider so well uh, the more effort one puts to edit the initial page the better output would have been uh, eventually but the idea is really to, to, to turn this into a real artwork, uh, even though using automation, but still, it's, it's, it's more like an uh, kind of up, uh, artwork. Uh, at least it's not the matter of just applying filters to the image, it's really kind of paint, painting. Well, the order might be like machine way of painting, it might not be that best, but still. And also, I've been experimenting with randomizing the lines to draw so currently it goes from bottom to top from top to bottom like this i have been experimenting with just some sort of a different lines but it, it looks like interpolation it's it's not really that great so just like li lines are kind of going on the screen it's not really that great so it's hard to say what kind of order to pick up so we are done here so the script has ended it's its job and here is kill monkey king being painted uh with a brush okay so we can see this is cmk okay so that's kind of it and yeah just just to demonstrate how the initial picture looks like so here is the image i've been taken as the source you see like it's it's really awful it's much worse compared to what we've uh, what we've got eventually just just compare this to pictures well uh, i could have just get rid of the uh, uh of the colors as well so uh here i have the only filter being applied uh i'm using gimp uh, gnu image manipulation program and the filter is called cartoon so just to make it look like a cartoon character but you just see that the bare filter is not that great compared to the artwork itself and again like if, if we work out the input image the artwork might be even better and for, uh, I'm, I'm thinking I'm thinking of using this for okay, like video making purposes uh, especially if I will manage to randomize the order of traversing this kind of array of pixels so it would be so it look so it would like so it would look like naturally in this case it would be really awesome I'm thinking about uh, using some uh automated virtual piano music on the background because it's not being recognized by youtube as like copyright claims or strikes or something because the, the music is is midi and it's also quite different from the original tracks so in most cases uh it might be okay and the video is still monetized so this these are kind of the ideas that we can achieve uh with python so if you want to try and draw something with Python, uh, I'll definitely share the source code. So the source code is very tiny. Here is the, here is the entire source code. It's only one page, so nothing nothing special here, really. So here are the lines to randomize the order. I could have shown you this, but I just don't yet have a logic to break the program, so I just don't don't really want to wait until it uh, draws the entire picture. It kind of takes a bit too long. Well, okay, guys. So this is it from my side. I hope this was interesting so if you have any thoughts on these points uh i would be happy to read your feedbacks in the commentaries below this video this is it from my side thanks for watching until the next time and take care